Hey guys, how are you doing? Today is August 19th, another Friday. Um, actually, we will discuss in detail of Home Depot's result in our Hong Kong channels. And I think that a um, few days before, I think that um, Lowe's result, because Lowe's is very similar to Home Depot's, should be also very similar in the quarter result to as Home Depot, but the result is not as that. Actually, Lowe's result is not very good, right? Actually, is no improvement at all from the from one year before. So it, I can say that it discouraged uh, some of the investors on the home refurnishing department store, something like that, right? So actually, today we will take a look on Lowe's result, and I will not analyze anymore in our Hong Kong channels because we don't have this stock, right? But actually, in the past five years, Lowe's performance of the stock is better than Home Depot's. So you have to know that, right? Okay, for our Falcon portfolio, then I'm sorry, then we should be 30 months from now, right? It's 65%, right? From 35,000, then increased it to 57.7 thousand today. So if um, you have any stock then you want me to analyze, you can leave your message under the YouTube or you can directly email to me by email usstockmarketweekly at gmail.com This is our Falcon 350,000 portfolio and you can see that Nasdaq's performance is 67% for the past um, 30 months. And our portfolio's performance is 65%, right? We just added the auto song, right? I think, uh, I think that all of you know that, right? We just added auto song into our portfolio. And just one week, then it has performance of 5%. So this is our covering. Then today we will talk about lowest quarter result, right? It's a little bit discouraged that the investors We don't have a lot of headlines, so we will directly go into the Dow Jones and then the Fed interest rate and then the lows, right? So you can see that a lot of lucky numbers, huh? 33999 yesterday for Dow Jones, right? It just, um, it just, um, less than 3,000 points than to the peak of Dow Jones in half year before. And then last step is also, um, Actually, um, we can observe that at the very beginning, just when the market opened and then the index drops, but gradually it increased back. That means some of the investors, they buy, they are buying gradually from the market, right? So you have to notice that, right? So for Nasdaq, it's nearly 13, just 35 points to go, right? Nearly 13 points, 13,000, then this is um, also 3,000 points to its peak. So you know that actually the Dow Jones and Nasdaq is not rising as strong as before because the U.S. 10-year Treasury yield increased a little bit. Right? One week before is 2.868% and then yesterday is 2.908%, right? just increased a little bit. So we, if we compare Home Depot to Lowe's, um, stock performance. Actually, Home Depot is two times bigger on the market share to Lowe's, right? You can see the Home Depot's market cap is 334 billion US dollar, and Lowe's is just 138 billion US dollar. And their PE ratio and the dividend is quite close to each other. But you can see that in the past five years, the stock performance for Home Depot is 117%, but for Lowe's is nearly 200%. So in the stock price, actually Lowe's performs much better in past five years than Home Depot, right? But we just follow the performance, right? We just follow the performance. I think both is good, right? Both is good, it's quite monopoly in the sector, but actually we follow the performance, right? 
and we take a look on the shop inside is just quite close to Home Depot right and they are mainly competitors to each other there's another picture of the shops of um, Lowe's and this also is I think this is in uh, China's I think this is in a China's exhibition right okay then we just it just two days before right and those um, result is um, makes the consensus although it's quite small right and the JAP earnings per share is 4.67 which just by 7 cents and the revenue is listed by 680 million US dollar and you can see that the comparable sales decreased by 0 0.3 percent that means zero right and the comparable sales for the US home improvement business increased also just by 0 0.2 percent that means no increment in the comparable sales so I taken a shot of this one because that we get from the internet is quite packed to each other I cannot see very closely so I directly get this from the set website right we can see that for the past three months and six months for the net sales increment yes three months is zero and for half year is minus 1.65 percent right and then for the net earning that means the net profit for both three months or six months zero that means no increment at all this result is um, very important and you can see that for the total assets is decreased and the mainly decreased is in the cash you can see that for um, one year before and the cash and cash equivalent is 48 billion point three five US dollar and now that means just um, two weeks before it decreased it quickly to 14.82 billion only it lost a lot of cash right you can see the decrease is mainly because of the cash decrease and for the long-term liability then we are excluding for the maturity one right you can see that the long-term liability increased it by 30.9 percent right one year before is 21.9 billion US dollar and then just two just two weeks before is 28.76 billion US dollar so that's not good to the investor right that's not good that means the improvement of lows is very little when compared to Home Depot so this is even more clear right we count on the net cash provided by the operating activity is not deducting the other expenditure right we're just deducting some of the terms that's not related to the main business so the net cash provided by operating activities decreased by 13 percent right from one year before 69 billion to 60 billion that's very important that's bad right that's bad because no other way is more important than to count how much cash the business bring into the company right and then I have recapped it for those 10 years main data so you can take a look right we counted for the past 10 years for the total revenue and the net income and the diluted earning per share you can see that for the total revenue you can see the most right hand side actually is decreasing decreased a little bit right and then for the net revenue is also decreased a little bit and only for the diluted EPS it increased a little bit so actually for this few years this is bad for lows you can see that for the total revenue it's gradually increasing per each year and for the net income is gradually increasing for the trend is increasing right the trend is increasing for each year so this year is bad maybe just this year we don't know right 
And then this is low business outlook. That means for the forecast for this whole year of 2022, right? So I have marked the half year result so we can judge how the management level, how they see this um, 2022's fiscal year's result, right? And they forecast for the total sales of is um, 97 billion to 99 billion, including the 53rd week, right? That means one year, right? So we can see that for the half year is 51 billion. That means their forecast is not good. Because if you um, plus two, then at least they should forecast is more than 100. So they just focus as 97 to 99. That means they are quite conservative. Okay, then we go down to the diluted earning per share, right? They think that for the whole year is 13.1 to 13.6 and now is 12.59 right that means the increment for the lower half year is very small it's very small maybe just few percent right and then for the total market share we purchase that's good because they the total share we purchase is approximately 12 billion and the market cap now for lows is 138 billion that means the um we purchase is about 10 percent right that means the share price will increase 10 percent right just imagine that the um the total number of share decreased by 10 percent so the share price will up by 10 percent right so it's um this Courage some of the investor because if we see this focus and the result that means there is no improvement at all for lows in 2022 when we compare to Home Depot right and the only thing that uh, make our eyes open is they will make up make the share price increase by 10 percent because they buy back I remember there's also another buy back in Home Depot, but I forget how much is that. I will discuss in detail in our Hong Kong channel, right? So um, for this year, for the upper half year of 2022, Home Depot's performance is better than the lows, right? So we'll see, we'll follow on both lows and Home Depot for the lower half year of their sales result, right? So I have made a summary for that. The revenue, right? If we focus for the upper half year to the whole year, the revenue increase is 0%. And then the net earning increase is also 0%. And the cash on hand is 1.48 billion. And then the um, long-term debt is 28.7 billion. So in the finance, just purely, we will from the finance point of view, then it's healthy, right? But the only thing is no no increment at all right so we'll see how it goes in the lower half year right okay then we share up to here and then thanks for watching our video and please give it a like and any comment is welcome or share to your fans right so please hit the subscribe button and then press the bell icon next to it so whenever there is new video uploaded, YouTube will inform you, right? Okay, today is another Friday. I hope everyone have a very peaceful weekend. See you next week. Bye-bye.